stop. Just stop. Stop what you're doing. If you plan on getting locks, this video is for you. What's up YouTube? How y'all doing? Y'all already know it's y'all girl Chrissy here. So today we'll be doing a video about locks. I personally was a girl that loved wearing weaves, loved wearing uh, units, loved wearing wigs, loved wearing all that. Now I really want to go over this in steps so that I'm not going all over the place. So I did um, write down a couple things that you do want to take into consideration when you are considering getting locks. The first thing I would say is important is your commitment. Now with commitment, a big thing is how you're going to start your locks. Personally for me, I did two strand twists. Um, another popular way to do it is coil method. There's also um, wick braids, you can do free form. There's so many different ways that you can lock your hair. Um, but personally for me, I feel like two strand was best because I do have thicker hair. And I just felt like it was gonna be better. And um, like I said, I have 4B, 4C texture and I felt that if I got the coils, I feel like they were gonna unravel. It's like, I just felt like two strand twist was more my vibe. In my opinion, I feel like it made my hair lock quicker or it made it look better to me. Personally, I love my two strand twist. There's a theory that if you get the two strand twist, your hair's gonna be thicker versus the coil method. That's not true. Me and my fiance, we both locked our hair at the same time and um, his hair was just as thick as mine. Really, it all depends on how you maintain your hair is how your hair is gonna be thick or thin. But we're not there yet. We're not gonna get there yet. We're gonna get into that soon. But another big thing is how many locks do you want? Like that is one of the biggest things, like literally, because for me personally, I got, um, I was like, you know what? I wanna get more locks because I just want my hair to be fuller. Like I just felt like, oh, if I get less locks, it's gonna be like, it's gonna look weird. That wasn't the case. I ended up going in there saying that I wanted 100 or more locks, but I came out only having 98 locks. Now I have 97 locks because um, one of my, one of them was just like not cooperating with the rest of my hair and I combed it out and I merged it with one. So now I have 97 locks, but I did start with 98. If I could do my lock journey over, and I'm not starting over, anybody that starts their lock journey over, I commend y'all because oh my goodness, it's definitely, uh, like even though I love my starter lock phase, I just don't want to go back to that. I just love my matured locks so much. But I feel like 70, 60 locks would have been cool for me. <laughs> um, I don't know who I thought I was saying I wanted over 100 locks. I'm happy I don't have over 100 locks. And that's just personally for me. Now some people, they do end up getting six sister locks. And sister locks that are, they, sometimes they have like 300 locks or more. And they, they, they look so beautiful. But personally, I feel like whatever you choose to do with your hair is your decision. For me, I wouldn't want over a hundred locks because I do my own hair and it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, I can get lazy. <laughs> I can get lazy. But I would definitely recommend really thinking about how many locks you want and how it's gonna be maintained. Um, how many locks you get is a big thing because unless you plan on starting over your journey, you're pretty much stuck with that or you have to pay a lot of money to get it, to get them um, combed out and joined in. And who wants to have to pay more money than what they need to? When when you first start out, you could just pay about $300. Personally for me, that's how much I paid to start my locks. It was about $300. Now, I personally feel that another thing that I wanna move on to is maintaining your locks, retwist. For me, I feel that going a month or more for a retwist is better for your hair. Um, Personally, I know a lot of people, they wash their hair probably two to three times before they do a retwist. That's not the case for me. I'd rather just, um, you know, have my hair retwisted. I wait about three weeks and I lock my hair again or four weeks and I lock my hair again. I just don't like how my hair looks when I just leave it washed and not retwisted because I have very thick 
hair so like it would just be looking so crazy some people lock their hair because they believe that it's low maintenance it's not low maintenance you do have to make sure that you are keeping up with your hair make sure that you don't have any lint in your hair make sure that you um are taking care of it properly now when i say that it's not low maintenance but it definitely makes life easier N being able to get up and just go is like a love is it's like i didn't know how much of a luxury that was especially for women of color that have like kinky curly hair it it feels so good to just get up and go and not have to worry about my hair like yeah i might do my edges that's a given but i don't have to do too much i can just literally get up take a shower get dressed and go i don't have to worry about what i gotta do with my hair my hair is done baby <laughs> like like baby your hair done it's done baby it's done but the moment i woke up i'm up it's done so like yeah that's a super big plus but you still have to maintain your hair so that's something that i do want to touch that i do want to emphasize locks are not low maintenance but they are convenient they are convenient and that's that's a that's a big that's a big 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 plus for me like i have um like if you're going on vacation yeah you might want to say oh i might want to ex add some extensions to my hair or whatever whatever but you don't have to your hair is already done so that's definitely an ease for sure definitely a ease. i feel like hair texture is a really big thing hair texture don't look at anybody else's journey your journey is going to be different from theirs because they have different hair texture than you even if somebody has the same hair texture as you a lot goes into it how they lock their hair how many locks that they have how they're treating their hair so you never want to look at somebody else's journey and compare it to yours because i got two strand twist and i saw this girl she had about 90 something locks and my locks don't look like hers but i love my locks personally i feel like they're unique and they're perfect for me which is going to be the same for you when you make that decision um so big thing never look at somebody else's growth and that's the same thing that's the same advice that was given when i had my um when i had my natural hair out like my loose texture hair out and I could never compare it to other people because we don't have the same hair texture and how I keep up my hair is different from how you keep up your hair. So that's another thing that plays a very, very big part, hair texture. Nevertheless, um, I do believe that how you maintain your hair in between retwists does play a big part as well. Because I'm not gonna cap, like I've had lazy moments where I wasn't spraying my hair every day, I wasn't oiling it every day. And you know what happened when it was time for my next retwist? My hair was all kinds of like, it was so hard to separate it. My hair was feeling dry, all that. But I do use different things. So I feel like aloe is really good for your hair. Rose water has a smell smelling good keep it hydrated keep keeps it hydrated if you do plan another big thing hydration if you do plan on spraying your hair spray your hair in the in the morning and if you plan on running errands throughout the day so it could dry out now don't damp it now you don't want to cause any mold in, in your hair that's that can happen from you hydrating it all the time and you're not allowing your hair to dry but if you're gonna you know douse your hair and then go out in the sun and you're running errands all day then you should be fine by the time you come back in the house it's not that much of like a big deal but if you are spraying your hair and then you're just like laying in the bed and all that you're setting yourself up for a bad thing don't want to do that and then another thing that also ties into that is instead of and you never want to try to spray or hydrate your hair at night because that's another thing you're you're just sitting your hair's just sitting wet and damp and i used to do that i used to do that with my lucia texture hair but you know it, your hair is loose so it's not gonna end up get like molding or anything like that but your hair is literally twisted and tangled together you don't want anything bad going on inside your lot so definitely treat them treat them treat your locks with care since we're on the topic of hydration you want to make sure that you're also keeping your body hydrated that's how you're going to make sure that your hair is growing well not just spraying water on your hair but make sure that you're hydrating your body because from the inside you're hydrated your roots are just going to grow it's just like a tree come on y'all 
Come on. Snap with me. Snap with me. Y'all heard that little word. <laughs> so I had locked my hair in um, December 2022. December 5th, 2022. The growth is definitely, definitely there. Definitely there. It's gotten mad long. I haven't been tracking it every month like I said I was going to, but I'm definitely going to try to have as much uh, videos as possible. Now, what starts off as a starter lock phase, some people call it the ugly phase. I don't like that phrase at all because I feel like you grow with your locks and I feel like it's such a beautiful experience. Not to sound like cheesy or like cliche or anything, but it is a beautiful experience watching yourself change because I feel like I've changed with my locks. It's beautiful. So whenever people say starter lock phase, ugly phase, they need to cut that because I believe that the starter lock phase is, the, the starter phase is beautiful. You can do so many different things with your hair. And I, I love that. I was doing a whole bunch of different styles and stuff like that. But it took me like, I want to say six months, six months for me to finally see some type of budding. By the third month, my hair was giving like frizzy and all that. And then I was talking to my other friends that got locks. I'm like, y'all, I'm locked in yet. they like, girl, come back in like six months. And, and you know what I'm saying? Because they was like, uh, -uh. and then by by April, it was really getting like more frizzy. And I'm like. Yeah, my hair is about to start budding really soon. And then I got my retwist and I was like, yeah, nah, it's, I can still see the twist like crazy. The, they, they maintained all the frizz that I had and I was like, yeah, I ain't, I ain't locked in yet. Then I want to say by June, that's when my hair really started locking. Like by the, yeah, so by the sixth month, I want to say that's when my hair started to get hard a bit. I was like, okay, there go the buds. I said, all right, here we go, here we go. And then by, um, then by uh, December, so when it really hit a year, I'm, I, I would say it took like a year for my hair to actually like be a bit matured like it was like premature after the full year went around i was able to do um two strand twist and take the two strand twist out and it, it was really cute my hair was all like curly and whatnot you can't really do that in the beginning with your hair if it's not matured because it's just not going to come out the way it's supposed to and yeah not a good time and another thing versatility people think that you can't be versatile with locks you could do so many different lock styles i'm actually gonna plan i plan on doing a lock uh inspo video with different hairstyles like you could do updos you could do a uh, half up half down you put everything up do a cute little bun like you can you can do so much you can literally do so 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 much with your hair um and you like rose petals oh my goodness i love the rose i want to get that done to my hair so bad but i don't know if i want to try to do it myself or pay but i don't mind paying because i want i definitely want the rose petals to come out looking so cute but they are so cute i'm gonna put a picture somewhere but yeah don't be don't feel like you won't have versatility and personally for me you could still even wear weaves like you can still wear units because i had a uh wedding that i had to go to four months after i locked and we had to wear um you know a nice cute uh middle part wavy type weave and i wore that i, I wore my locks under it took the wig off I think that same night <laughs> you feel me so it's not like you you can't still wear units you can you could do so much with your hair you could still even do knotless with your hair you could do a lot with your hair locked yeah I definitely wanted to get this video out because I know for me I just really wanted to get the nitty-gritty from someone and I'm really giving y'all the nitty-gritty like I personally love my locks so much I'm not a hypocrite though like have I ever had a moment where I'm just like you know I want to comb out my hair like I just want to comb it back out yes I have and guess what guess what I needed though all I needed was a retwist and guess what I got that retwist and I was like I don't know what the heck I was thinking I'm never combing out my locks <laughs> like if you're ever if you're locked and you're ever depressed think about it 
do you need a retwist? <laughs> because you probably do. <laughs> Any moment you think about combing your locks out, it's like, wait, wait. I do need a retwist. They revisit revisit the question or the doubt that you have right after the retwist, and I promise you, you'll be locked in forever. Because trust me, you'll have those moments, but. I promise you, you're going to appreciate your locks so much. I can guarantee that. Now, locks aren't for everyone. I, I can dig that. Like, I understand that. But I feel like um, the lock community is very, um, it's a great community, community to be a part of. I'll tell you that much. It, it really is. And I feel like this was one of the best decisions that I ever made for myself. And if you want me to, if y'all ever want me to do any more videos like this on this, more details, if y'all want to see my, um, how I retwist my hair, I'll definitely drop that video. I'll be more than happy to drop the video. But, um, I do hope that this video was educational and, um, I gave you the inspiration to either get locks or keep your locks <laughs> I'm, def I'm definitely i'm happy about that but i do thank y'all so much for spending some time with me hearing me chitter chatter and i do hope that um if you're already subscribed you already know we locked in for real if you're a new subscriber welcome to the family make sure that you like comment share all that good stuff see y'all next time family